how to make a game show buzzer lockout system. So first, what I did was I marked the holes where I'm going to put uh, my switch. Then what I did was I used a quarter inch drill bit and a half inch drill bit to make a hole and then filled it up with, with a knife. Next, I checked how the button fit in the hole and to see how it fits on the head. Next, I got these flashlights from Harbor Freight for a dollar. I basically took it apart and cut off the light um, roughly about that point uh, using a Dremel. Here it is after it's been cut, so that's what it looks like. Next, I used uh, the light piece that I cut earlier and traced it over in the front where I like wanted the light to be. Again, I used a quarter inch drill and a half inch drill to remove as much area as I could. And then the rest, I used a knife and chiseled it out. After chiseling it out, I basically used a Dremel bit um, to smooth it out so that I get a better fit for my um, light. So now that I drilled, uh, sanded down my hole, it fits nice and perfect. So I had these leftover brackets uh, when I was putting up uh, blinds for the windows that I used uh, hot glued to the Adrena board um, and then bolted them to the, the helmet. Uh, so as you can see I got glue right here then I drilled some holes put them some bolts it looks kind of like this from the top and I like it how it turned out I also made some holes in the back one is for the USB connector to the Adreno and one is going to be where my battery pack is going to be so what I did now is I took apart one of the ends from the flashlight Basically, there's a switch on the inside, and there's also a spring. So I'm going to leave the spring in there, and I'm going to attach this wire to the spring. And I'm going to glue it all inside, and then I'm going to attach the, this wire to this casing. I'll explain later on. So I put a piece of wire, and it goes from the spring to the outer casing. So the other half that I cut off from the flashlight, I'm going to use it as a battery pack holder, and I'm going to use the casing as the conductor for the wire for my circuit, uh, which you'll see later, but I just used hot glue to hold it in place, and then here's my, my nifty cap that's going to go right here, okay. so that looks really good. Next, I went ahead and uh, soldered a long enough piece to my switches and to my uh, lights um, using standard solder and the soldering iron. So next, I installed my button with my wires, and then I also installed my lights. I used hot glue to install it. Um, this is what it looks like from the front. My hole is not perfect, but uh, it's good enough. I also used a knife to cut out this hole in the back. The hole is going to be for a phone jack piece. Basically, I'm going to use this to connect from one helmet to another. Um, you can get one of these by buying a phone from like Goodwill and taking it apart. You can probably get two or three um, phone jacks from there for three dollars. So it's pretty cheap. So I hot glued my phone jack. And I also started wiring them together. So I'll go through some of the wiring. So this is going to be my ground, and this is going to be my positive side. The ground is going into the black wire. I'm also pulling the ground from the switch into the black wire. Then the positive side from the light is going into the yellow wire. And then the positive from the switch is going to the red wire. And then the green wire I'm just not going to use. So I soldered all the wires together and taped it nicely so that they're going to be out of the way. I'm basically done with this helmet. So I installed the harness back in here, and this is what it looks like. 
So my wiring goes like this. I have my battery pack right here, which my positive wire goes from here, which goes inside of the battery, goes to V5. Then my ground goes to my local ground right here, which goes to the switch ground and the light ground. And then this is the ground that goes to switch, which basically controls my on and off, which goes to the outside casing, as I said mentioned before, which is this wire that wraps around underneath and I'm soldered to the casing. Now you have to scratch off the anodize in order to get a good contact, otherwise you're not going to get a good electric current going through there. So and then this is my on and off button. So and then this is my battery pack. From the ground point right here, I'm going into the ground for the light. And then from the center point, it's where my positive goes to into point four. And then point one, or point two, sorry. Point two goes to my switch. And I'll, I'll have a link to my diagram attached below, uh, below. So as you can see, I've wired everything together. I have my lights, my buzzer, um, and then I have the wires coming from um, this connection that goes into the blue helmet and then this connection that goes into um, the yellow helmet. Those were a little bit tricky. I had to find out which wire was what. And the best way to do it is to use some alligator clips and uh, just trial and error one wire at a time. Um, I'll have a, a complete di wire diagram for which pen goes into which hole um, in the link below. Because uh, it'd, be, it'd be confusing trying to go through it here. But pretty much this is done.